What is up everybody? This is the Wrestling Fan 410 back again with another video. And I'm not gonna really call this a review, but uh this is gonna be my experience video for ROH Border Wars twenty thirteen and the T V taping that took place in Toronto today, May fifth, twenty thirteen. I went to both shows. I'm not really calling this a review. I'm gonna like run down every match from Border Wars and I'm gonna talk a little bit about today's taping without spoiling anything for you guys. But um I yesterday I didn't make the video because I got home late and I needed to get some sleep before the show today. Um and I meant to videotape some stuff for you guys. I always make day in the life of videos for you guys when I go to events or whatever. But I've I'm in my school, my high school is musical, uh, and I've been so busy with that. Like I was at school yesterday on a Saturday for eight hours, and then right after we went, my dad picked me up and we went to the wrestling show. So I didn't really think of bringing my camera, so I apologize about that. But I also picked up a shitload of DVDs, so I'm going to show you guys that. But first off, I'm going to just run down Border Wars, and then I'm going to show you the DVDs, and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today. So I can't even tell you the dark match. Uh, I didn't know either of the people. Actually, uh, yeah, I can tell you who they were. But the opening match was Caprice Colin and Cedric Alexander versus ACH and uh, I'm Tadarius Thomas. I'm sorry, I guarantee I said that wrong. But uh, this match was awesome. Great opener. Uh, very fast paced and was just so much fun. I would say it's the second or third best match of the night. I had a lot of fun with it. It really got the fans going, and I thought it was a great opening. Uh, next match, Roderick Strong versus Mike Bennett. Oh, yeah. So the people I'm saying first won. Uh, Roderick Strong versus Mike Bennett. This match was okay. It was a lot slower, obviously. It was a big jump from the tag team match to this. It was a good slow paced wrestling match. Um, still had a lot of fun with it. I'm a big fan of Mike Bennett, so I I really enjoyed it. Plus, it's it's always great looking at Maria. Uh, next match, I quit match. B J Whitmer versus Rhett Titus. Honestly, this match sucked. Um, they didn't you utilize the I quit rules well. Uh, like, it was always just a chokehold, and then uh, the ref would put the mic to the guy's face and say, you quit. It's only a chokehold, though. Like, it, it didn't even look painful, and then the, the ending was stupid. Uh, Rhett Titus got tied to the ropes, and BJ Whitmer was about to hit him with the chair, and then he quit. Uh, Scum came down and beat him up. Uh, beat Whitmer up, I should say, and then Michael Elgin and uh, Jay Lethal came out, and then that basically started that match. I can't remember much from the match, honestly. Uh, it was pretty good, though, from what I remember. Jay Lethal's storyline got injured, and then Kevin Steen came out uh, and teamed with Elgin for the rest of the match, and Scum got the victory can't remember how. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. But. And then after that was intermission. Then you had a pointless segment after that with R.D. Evans and Q.T. Marshall uh, just talking nonsense. And then Tommaso Ciampa came out for his return and basically, yeah, like they beat them up. And then that was it. Then we go on to the match of the night. Eddie Edwards versus, uh, I can't pronounce his for, uh, first name, but um, Ishimori. 
amazing, amazing match. I would say it's the best match I've ever seen live. I had a lot of fun with it. it words can't describe it. You guys have to go check it out. I'm sure they've had better matches in Japan and stuff, but I was just amazed from it, like the chemistry between the two. Uh, ROH TV title match. Matt Taven with Truth Martini and the uh, Hoopla Hotties, which one of them was a little scary looking, but that's okay. Versus Mark Briscoe, this match wasn't that great, to be honest. I don't know if it was because... I'm not going to say the crowd was dead after that match, because I don't think we were, but I was tired from it. And I just couldn't get into it, really. But it was okay. Uh, next match, Paul London and Davey Richard. This was a great match. Um, Davey Richard picked up the victory. There were... I guarantee there was 95% of the crowd cheering for Paul London. But overall, like, these guys had a lot of chemistry for, um, for first time in the ring together. It was, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, Paul London suffered a concussion after that because he, um, Davy Richards botched the kick off the top rope and actually hit him. And yeah, and everyone there chanting, you killed Paul, you killed Paul, which was kind of funny. Main event, I really don't remember much from it. Um, Jay Briscoe did pick up the victory over Adam Cole. I, uh, from what I remember, I liked the match. Um, the ending came when Scum came out and handed Adam Cole the t-shirt. And then, um, Adam Cole, I think, punched someone, and then turned around, and, um, Jay hit his finisher, and then got the win. After that, um, Jay Briscoe basically got on the mic and said how great of a crowd we were, and, uh, thank you so much for that. And then, Adam Cole set up give him the super kick, and then one, oh wait, no, um, after the match, Jay held up the shirt, and was like, are you gonna join Scum, and then Adam Cole just looked at him, uh, Jay wiped his ass with the shirt, and then, and then turned around to look at the fans, and then Adam Cole set up for the super kick, once Jay turned around and just rolled out of the ring, and then that was the end of it. But overall, it was an awesome pay-per-view. Uh, check out my ratings in the description below. Now I want to show you my DVDs. I picked up 14 DVDs. So yeah. Um, AJ Styles, um, Styles Clash. I'll put that one aside. Kevin Steen, right? Descent into Madness. King's Reign Supreme. Ring of Hardcore. Samoa Joe vs. CM Punk. This one I picked up today. Uh, Samoa Joe Total Domination. Summer of Punk. Showdown in the Sun at Day 1 and Day 2. Put that one aside. Um, Glory by Honor 11. Final Battle 2012. And, excuse me for one second, I'm sorry. Today they had a free autograph signing with seven wrestlers, but more decided to come out, and it was all, if you had your own items to get signed, then it was free, but if you needed an A510, it cost $10. The people that were advertised were the American Wolves, 
uh, Mike Bennett, Maria, um, TNC Wrestle Factory, and Mischief. But, uh, so I was planning on just meeting the American Wolves, Mike Bennett, and Maria. But then Kevin Steen and Paul London came out too. I met Kevin Steen, but I didn't have anything for Paul London to sign, which I was so disappointed about. But they basically signed anything you would put in front of them. So I got Davey and Eddie. I bought this yesterday and I got them to sign The Hunt Never Dies. I don't know if you can see the autograph, but yeah. I bought this again. Davey uh, signed it, The Hunt for Glory. Uh, and then I bought this, uh, Border Wars. 2012, I got Mike Bennett, Kevin Steen, and Davey Richards to sign it. So Davey Richards signed three things for me, and took a picture with me. And then I got Maria to sign my SummerSlam 2008 cover. She was probably the nicest out of everyone. I was really nervous to meet her, but um, she was really nice to me. I'm sure she was nice to everyone. But, uh, she could tell I was nervous, so she just sparked up the conversation. She, uh, talked about the, the photo shoot and how this was done in the studio because they didn't want her to get into the water on a jet ski because they were scared that she was going to get hurt and stuff like that. Yeah, and then today was the taping. Overall, it was really fun. I'll just tell you the main events, but I'm not going to tell you the spoilers. Um, you had um, Kevin Steen versus Adam Cole. You had um, the, 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 the Ishimori, sorry, uh, Ishimori versus Roderick Strong. Then. Uh, you had triple threat match for the number one contender shot for the TV title. Jay Lethal versus Mike Bennett versus versus shit. I can't remember. Oh, versus DJ Whitmer. I'm sorry. And then the main event, like the the final taping, was. The Briscoe Brothers versus the American Wolves. Overall, it was a lot of fun both nights. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this video was kind of shitty. I'm still really tired from that rehearsal. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.